Welcome to writing lesson number two on task one describing a map or plan. Before you start this lesson, you will need to have the following to hand. Your training booklet, a pen or pencil, a rubber, lined paper and a timer set for 13 minutes for practice one and again for 20 minutes for practice two. You can follow the lesson in your training booklet where you will find all the writing tasks, example answers and the writing answer sheets. After this lesson you will have an understanding of what to expect in the writing task 1 in which you need to describe a map or a plan. You will have a clear overview of the task and have learned some tips and strategies on how best to approach it. You will also be able to practice using authentic tasks and compare your answers to model answers. There are two practice tasks, one which is guided and one you do alone. In this first task, you have to describe a map or plan in 150 words. You will need to use appropriate vocabulary for describing maps and you can find this vocabulary in your training booklets on page 10. You will need to plan and structure your writing to help you write in a way that you can finish in the 20 minutes and so that you can include all the information you need to get a good score and make sure you have enough words. Now we're going to practice together. First of all, we're going to look at how to structure your writing. As in the other task one, I have given you some recommended timings for completing these stages and they are the same as for any task one. They're very rough and you might, need, you might find you need more or less time for each. First of all, you have to take some time to look at the task. In this case, again, you can take one minute. You can read the task carefully, including the actual map or the plan. Make sure that you understand everything. Think about the following. What is the overview? and what are the main features. You should take a minute to do this. Then a further minute to write a short introduction, three minutes to write the overview, 13 minutes to write the main body, one minute for a short conclusion and one minute to check your writing. First of all, we're going to look carefully at the actual task. You can take a minute to do this exercise. First of all, you have to decide what the map or plan is about. Make sure you take time to understand what exactly it is showing. Then you can decide on the overview. As with the graph or the chart, you also need to include an overview of the main changes here. And you also need to decide what are the main features. Here you have to choose the most significant features again and back them up with data from the map. Remember, you shouldn't describe everything. Now let's look at some ideas together. I'll give you a little bit of time to have a look at what it's about. So as you can see, the map shows an island before and after development. Secondly, you need to decide what is the overview. Don't forget, you only need to think about it at the moment. You don't need to write anything. Again, I'll give you a minute or so to look at that. As an overview, you should mention that there have been dramatic changes to the island. And lastly, you need to select some of the main features. I'll give you a bit of time to have a look. And the main features you can include are Pier, accommodation, huts, restaurant, vehicle track, footpaths, and the fact that the beach and the trees stay the same. So in summary, make sure you understand what the map or the plan is about. You need a clear overview to get a score of over five. This is also for describing a map or a plan. And 
you have to include the main features with data to support it, such as north and south, and the main features to score over five. Now you should write a short introduction and you should include what the map or plan shows, where it is and when it is. You can now take one minute to write a short introduction. I'll tell you when the time is up. You can start now. Your time is up now. So you could write something like this. The two plans show the changes made to an island from an uninhabited and undeveloped island to a tourist location. Now you need to write the overview. You can take three minutes to write a short overview. Don't include any numbers or data. After the three minutes, I'll give you an example of what you could write. You can start now.
OK, so this is an example of what you could write. Other examples are obviously possible. Overall, the island has changed dramatically in terms of development. However, some things have remained, such as the trees and the beach. It is very important to write a clear overview and you should not include any details or data. Don't forget, if you don't have an overview, then you will not get more than a five in the task achievement. Now you need to write the main body. You have to include the main features, which are the things you've chosen, and need to support them by using details from the map or the plan. So for example, you need to say things like where the things are, the trees, or the pier, for example. You need to use appropriate vocabulary and a good range of grammatical structures. You can start your timer, which is set to 13 minutes, and pause this video lesson. If you finish before the 13 minutes, just start the lesson again. You can pause the video lesson now. Once you've done that, you can write a short conclusion. You will have one minute to write this conclusion. After one minute, we'll have a look at what you could write. You can start now. OK, this is an example of what you could write. Don't forget that there are other answers possible. In conclusion, the island has been developed and is ready to be used as a tourist destination. The conclusion is not very important, but it does end your writing in a good way. However, if you don't have time, it is OK to leave it out. Now you have a minute to read through your writing. Check for spelling mistakes, punctuation, and that you can read your own handwriting. I'll tell you when the minute is up. OK, your time is up. Now you can compare your answer to the model answer in your training booklet. When you finish, just go to the next slide. Now go to practice two in your training booklet on page 12. You can set your timer for 20 minutes. You're going to have a chance to practice writing a map or a plan description on your own in the 20 minutes. In that time you can pause this video and you can start it again after. Don't forget to use the steps that we looked at in the lesson. 
You can pause the video now. Now you can compare your answer to the model answer in your training booklet on page 33. When you finish, go to the next slide. That is the end of lesson 3 on task 1 describing a map or plan. Now after a short quiz you can go to lesson 4 which is on task 1 describing a process.